Hello, this is Carl with frugalberry.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do a couple things in GIMP. Um, something I often do in GIMP that I need to do is to scale an image or to change the size of an image file so that I can put it on the internet. Uh, as you can see, this image that I have is not the best image in the world, but it's, it'll work for the purposes of this tutorial. Uh, this is measuring 2048 by 1536 and I want it smaller than that. Um, I, I usually for putting stuff on websites I usually try to get it below 200 by 200 or some, somewhere. Uh, two, 200 is one of the as one of the parameters um, as far as the size goes and that'll usually give me a file that's in the neighborhood of 70 to 100 kilobytes which is great for a website. So here we go. Uh, what we're going to do is come to our image and scale image. And it's really just this simple. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the right things in the, in the menu options. But here's our width, here's our height. Now with this, with this chain here linked together, these two are going to change as needed to to fit the, the the size, I'll show you what I mean here. Uh, so I'll change this to a thousand, and I'll change the width to a thousand, and you'll see the height change automatically. So we're going to go one thousand, and hit tab, and automatically the height changes to whatever it needs to be with these linked together. So now I'm going to unlink this, and we'll change this to, uh, we'll say, if we wanted a square, we'll say 1,000. Now, of course, that's going to stretch the image, too. Um, but, uh, you know, if, if we wanted to stretch it for whatever reason, we could do that. Um, and then, if I hit tab again, um, it's going to uh, keep both of them unlinked and keep them at, uh, at, at the the numbers that I put them at. Uh, you know what, I'm going to cancel that right now and we're going to do uh, image, scale image, so we're back to where we were before and we're going to do uh, 200 and we're going to keep them linked together and hit tab again and here our height adjusts automatically to what it needs to be for the proportion of the picture and click scale and our image size goes down. Up top here you can see 200 by 150, which is what we wanted. Now I can come down here if I want and go to 100% to, to view it, or 200%. Now of course it's a little bit grainier looking, uh, but that's what you're going to get when you decrease a, an image to that, uh, to that size. So that's how you scale an image in GIMP. This is Carl with frugalberry.com. Thanks for watching, and please check out frugalberry.com for lots of money saving tips and ideas. Thank you much.